the focus is community relations. That's going to be the focus because you're really one umbrella. Yes, you're a law enforcement officer. However, you have multiple roles under one umbrella. The first ever chief of the Penn Hills School Police Department officially named tonight. The chief will be in charge of forming a force for the district. KDK's Jennifer Barresso spoke with him and with school officials tonight. Jen. That's right. Well, the new chief, Keith Lazaron, he has over two decades of law enforcement experience. He currently works as a school resource officer in Armstrong County. The superintendent saying she's impressed with all his credentials, his experience and his expressions that putting hands on students should be a last resort. This is a fabulous area. Uh, I cannot wait. I, it's overwhelming. I cannot wait to get started. Penn Hills School District hired its first police chief, Keith Lazaron. He has 21 years of law enforcement experience and currently works as a school resource officer for Manor Township, Armstrong County. Before that, Fawn Township Police and the VA and military police. School Board President Aaron Vecchio. We had five candidates that we interviewed. He shined among every one of them because of the fact that he was all about kids. He's a, a school resource officer and he already had those qualifications. Plus he can write grants. Lazaron signed a five year contract and starts November 7th. He says it will take about six months to get a school police force up and running. He hopes to hire a sergeant and four or five officers. They will have full police powers on school property, meaning they can make arrests, investigate and carry guns. He says his overall vision is community policing. The vision is, is to work closely and collaborate with the kids, the staff, visitors, to give them a, a good, warm feeling that they have actually an in-house police department and they can actually rely on an in-house police department. Superintendent Nancy Hines agrees. He understands our mindset. We are all about a community policing model. We don't want hands-on for verbal escalation, hands-on only as a last resort. And he made that very clear in his interviews with us. Hines says the new school police force wasn't added for any specific reason, but as an added extra layer of security to the district and to close any coverage gaps. They plan to keep using off-duty Penn Hills police officers and using other unarmed security officers. And the school board president, Aaron Vecchio, tells me the goal is to add two officers, armed officers, to each school and to have guarded booths at each campus entranceways. And the state grant they got over $300,000, they hope to keep applying for more grants and not to put the burden on taxpayers here in Penn Hills. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.